Howdy folks, this is Travis of Elston Equine Solutions, once again to give you a solution to a problem set. What is it today? Well, it's real easy. You can see i am uh, got the old uh, poop rake right here to pick up the road apples from inside the stall. And there's only which of plastic tines that always break off at the inconvenient times and looks like this one. And that's really a pain in the rear end, if you know what I mean, trying to clean up your stalls and the road apples just keep on falling right through this opening. So what we're going to do today is show you a way to weld the plastic tines back onto your hay fork. And that's coming to a theater near you. Next. All right, folks, to be able to pull this off, we're going to need a few different uh, tools to be able to fix our apparatus laid out here in front of us. One of them is this awesome Chicago electric welding tool that welds plastic together. Now, where can you get this handy set that looks like this? Well, simple. You just go down to your normal handy dandy Harbor Freight and they will have it there. And it is cheap, cheap, cheap. But guess what? It works. And we're going to show you today how to use this tool to place a broken tine. And it doesn't matter if you find the original ones that belong to the rake or you Frankenstein it off of somebody else's because they didn't know how to do this technique and you pick it up out of the garbage and utilize it for your purposes. So that's what we're going to show you. A couple additional tools. One, I like to get discarded pool noodles and I will place it on the rake so that way when I have my tine, I can place it inside, line it up perfectly with my spike and then I could grab the next one to do the same thing now what we're going to do once this gets hot 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 and I'll place it down it's melting so I know it's good I'm just going to place it right on to the back side of the tine and heat it up and I'm going to heat up the front of the tine at the same time until it is hot 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 and melding and then all i'm going to do is once i see it curling up from the pressure at the base i'm going to slide it out and place it together and then i can just weld the pieces together off to the side if i want to and get it to fit together nicely. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the next one. I'm gonna burn the end flat first before placing this on so you can see a better seating. And heat it up. until it starts curling. Then I can just join my tine right onto it and sit in place. And then I'll just go around the outer edges with my triangle heater and melt it all together. Now I'm putting rear wood pressure down on the spike to be able to weld everything together. There it goes. Okay, I have it pretty damn strong. Okay, we're gonna go back to this one because it started moving. So we'll just heat it up. I mean, it's okay to mess it up. You just restart the application. So I'm heating up the base plate really hot until it starts melting. And then I'll push the tine down into it. And then I'll go ahead and fill in the gaps with my welder. Good. And then I can pick up the back side of it. You can see it's lined up nice and neat. 
come to the back side, you can see there's a little bit of lines. And now I'll just join them together. Do the next one. And if you want, you could throw some glue on top to, to sturdy up the base of it. But I really have not seen no problem just doing what I'm doing and welding it together. It's easier making flapjacks. There we go. There we go. You can see it's all coming together now. Good. Okay, I'm gonna place this off the side. Now this is hot, so be prepared. Don't put it on your kitchen table or a napkin and let it burn off. We'll just let it set for a while. I'll pull this tubing off and you can see that I have a pretty good replaced spikes here. Good enough to do the job, okay? So you can see I can put the handle back on and I just fixed my hay fork. I'm ready to rock and roll. It's time to get it on, clean up the road at poles, okay? Oh, we'll come up. Hey folks, uh, what I got here is I got that fixed nice rake. We fixed, uh, we fixed uh, the tines on this rake and we're gonna show you that it works. I can move it and uh, we soldered it, we Frankensteined it, and now we're gonna put it in action on these road apples just to show that it still works. So we're gonna test it out, see if any tines break off. And as you can see, it's working out pretty good. Now y'all obviously y'all know it didn't work out if the tines break off. It's a heck of a test, okay? So I can pick it up. As you can see, I'm putting a lot of poop in there and nothing's breaking off, okay? Uh, it's a good system, works. It's a lot better than having the teeth missing and the road apples just shooting out the bottom of it. Uh, you know, it's nothing fancy, it's just a way to get the job done. 